Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, working with slope in section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. Today we're going to use that slope to find a missing coordinate. What's going to help us is the slope formula that I talked about in my last video. We know slope is vertical change over horizontal change. You can find vertical change uh, is also known as the change in the Y and horizontal change is known as the change in the X. So that brings us to this formula change in y, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over change in x, which is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. All right, I don't think we're going to need that for this, because what I can see right off the bat is my x value went up by 1. All right, so by the very definition of slope, it says slope of negative 9, that means when the x value goes up by one, the y value should go down by nine. So what number minus nine is negative five? Four minus nine is negative five. All right, so maybe some of these we can just do visual by some visual inspection and, and do it like that. Uh, this one's a little bit tougher because I see the x value is changing by two um, and it's going down so that's a little bit more confusing so how about we use the slope formula this time and we'll say that okay our change in x so I'm going to do k minus 10 over our change in y 2 minus 4 is equal to our slope Six, and then we'll solve this equation. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract that two and four on the bottom of the fraction. Then I can multiply both sides by negative two, and then add ten to both sides, and we get that k is negative two. So if k is negative two. Uh, this point would be 2, negative 2, and the line that runs through these two points would be would have a slope of 6. Let's do it again. Uh, this time we're missing an x value. That does change things a little bit. So here we go. Um, we'll do 6 minus negative 9. So 6 minus negative 9. over d minus negative 7. So that's change in x over change in y. And change in x over change in y gives us slope. And our slope is negative 5. All right, so 6 minus negative 9 is like 6 plus 9. And d minus negative 7 is like d plus 7. From now on, I'm just going to start right there. I'm not even going to bother writing minus negative 9. When, I, when I'm subtracting a negative number, I usually just make it addition. So that's 15 over d plus 7 equals negative 5. Now I have to multiply both sides by the denominator, d plus 7. So when I do that on the left, I'll get 15. When I do it on the right, I'll get negative 5 times d plus 7, which... I have to use distributive property to simplify that. I'm going to come up here and continue working here. So 15 equals negative 5 times d, and negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. Add 35 to both sides, we get 50 equals negative 5d, and then divide both sides by negative 5, and we get that our d value is negative 10. So if d is negative 10 and this point is negative 10, 6, a line that runs through negative 7, negative 9, and negative 10, 6 would have a slope of negative 5. Let's do it a couple more times. All right, so this time we have a slope of 8 ninths. It's a fraction. Uh, we're missing a y value over here. Okay, so let's do change in y, p minus 7 over change in x, negative 10 minus negative 1, 
I'm going to write that as negative 10 plus 1 equals our slope, which is 8 ninths. All right, so let's simplify a little bit. P minus 7, negative 10 plus 1 is negative 9 equals 8 over negative 9. Um, no, it's actually 8 over positive 9, excuse me. So, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to use cross products here. I'm going to do P minus 7 times 9 equals negative 9 times 8. So it's cross products in a proportion are always congruent to each other. So I'll distribute over here, 9p minus uh, 63. Ah. Equals negative 72. And then I'll add 63 to both sides. Negative 72 plus 63 is negative nine. And then I'll divide both sides by nine and I get that p is negative one. Let's do one more. All right, we got a slope of negative one sixth. We have a missing x value. I'm gonna do negative eight minus negative nine. That's my change in y, negative eight minus negative nine or negative eight plus nine over my change in x d minus 8. I always start with the point that's got the missing coordinate. Equals our slope of negative 1 sixth. All right, let's simplify a bit. Negative 8 plus 9 is 1 over d minus 8 equals negative 1 sixth. Again, we can use cross products. We'll do 1 times 6 equals d minus 8 times negative 1, which looks like that. So 6 equals, when we distribute over here, we get negative d plus 8. And then we'll subtract 8 from both sides. We get negative 2 equals negative d. That means d equals positive 2. So if this point is 2, negative 8, and this point is 8, negative 9, then the line that runs through those two points would have a slope of negative 1, 6. So that's how you can use the slope formula to find a missing coordinate. Good luck.